Hey everyone, welcome back. So as I said in last week's video, on Saturday I was having the sleep study done. So I just thought I would talk a little bit about that in today's video, um, give some information, especially for those who have never had one done. Uh, myself, I wasn't really too sure what to expect, so I just thought I would talk a little bit about it. Um, so I arrived there at 9.30 p.m. and I was there till 6 a.m. So these sleep studies are done uh, to diagnose different things things like insomnia, sleep apnea, um, as I said last week, uh, something like restless leg syndrome, which I think is something that I could be suffering from. So uh, I was really glad to get this test done. Um, this whole thing, uh, it actually tracks while you're sleeping your eye movements, uh, the oxygen level in your blood, um, it tracks your brain, it tracks your breathing, and also any limb movements that happen throughout your sleep as well. So. Um, um, I made sure that I took something that I know would for sure help me fall asleep and at least stay asleep for a few hours while I was there uh, because if you don't sleep at all then the test is inconclusive and I knew being in that kind of situation and atmosphere there was a high possibility that I would be awake all night and wouldn't be able to sleep so um, you know they say like in getting this test done, they obviously want you to be comfortable so you can sleep all night and they can get really good results. But I have to say, when you are hooked up to a ton of wires, uh, it's really hard to fall asleep. Um, you have wires all over different parts of your face, the back of your head, uh, on your chest, on your neck, you have them attached to your legs as well. And then you have the breathing um, tubes that go up each, each nostril. So it's pretty uncomfortable. And I was finding because I was so restless and moving around a lot, you'd find the wires were like pulling every which way. So I mean, I had a really restless sleep that night. Um, I guess I did sleep a few hours at least. Um, it didn't feel like it, but I must have because I'm sure they got some sort of result. So um, it was pretty interesting. Uh, I'm really glad I got it done because I'll be interested to know if I'm suffering from any sort of, as I said, restless leg syndrome or insomnia. Um, and I'm really curious to know if it's due to my MS. So they did say that results for this test can take about three weeks to come in, at which time I will meet with the sleep specialist at that clinic to go over my results. Um, they also have me tracking my sleep uh, writing it down every morning um, each day for the next two weeks. I guess they just really want to know um, kind of what time do you go to bed? What time do you turn out the lights? What time do you actually fall asleep? How many times in the night do you wake up? Uh, what time do you get up in the morning? Have you taken anything to fall asleep? So there is a lot of information that goes into this, um, which is very important. I guess they really want to be sure because you're only there for one night. I mean, for me, I didn't find that I had as much leg jerking that night as I normally do. So you really wonder if if the result is going to be the same as it would some other night that you're sleeping. So I will make sure to keep everybody posted um, after I meet with the specialist and let you know my result. So I hope today's video just kind of gave you a little bit of information on how these sleep studies work. Um, if you've ever had one, uh, if you've learned that you kind of have something going on with your sleep due to your MS, please share in the comments below. So have a great weekend and I will see you next week.